Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Phoebe. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. Today's video is going to be all about the new e.l.f. Mint Melt Collection. That is quite a mouthful. Anyway, they just released their Mint Melt Collection. It's in the same bite size palette as the previous video that I did. Check it out. Um, I was excited. It hasn't even hit stores yet. They only released it online. And the day it was released online, I ordered it. No shame, okay? I ordered their primer. I ordered a lip gloss. And then for some weird reason, I ordered two of the same palette. Now they released two different palettes. I ordered the um, Mint To Be palette. And I thought I was ordering this plus the other one. I don't remember what the other name was, but I ordered two Mint To Be's, unfortunately. But either way, if you all wanna see how I achieved this look with these, please keep watching. This is the palette. I hope you guys can see that. So it's um, their Mint To Be palette. This palette contains two matte colors and two shimmery colors. I'm going to be using both the matte and the shimmery colors today to just show you all what the palette looks like. I'm excited for this because if you watched my previous video about the um, e.l.f. mini palettes, I love it. It's a lot of power in this little palette. So I'm excited to see what this looks like once I try it on. So we're going to start with primer. And to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. And this is in the color like tan. You're just going to apply this. I like to use my fingers because it warms it up and it just like gets onto my skin easily. You are done priming your eyes. We are going to take fluffy brush and we are just going to apply let's go in with this dark green color right here we're going to apply that right above our crease and what I'm doing is I'm just packing the color right here in the corner of my eye and then I'm going to use that same brush to just pull the color in like I normally did if you watched my previous e.l.f. palette video, I kind of showed you all how to apply eyeshadow. So if you still need a little help on how to apply eyeshadow, I suggest you go watch that video. I'll actually um, put it to the top of this video just so that you can watch both. Okay? Alright, so we're just going to build that color in. And we're putting it right above this crease. This is a pretty green. It's not a uh, army green. It's not a uh, jade green. It's, I want to say it's like a green that has an undertone of gray. And I hope you guys can see more of the green. Some people have complained that it looks like gray. It does not look like gray. It's green. It just has more of a cool, like a subtle tone to it. It's not over the top, but it does apply as green. Maybe it's because some people didn't use um, eye primer, but I always use primer for eyeshadow. This is a pretty green. I've seen a lot of complaints. I don't know why people are complaining. It's a beautiful green. It applies green. It looks great and it's pigmented like I'm not dark dark skin but I am brown skin and it's showing on my skin I know I prime my eyelids but still it's pretty significant that this green is showing up on my skin as green and not as any other color so for the people who are complaining I would say ignore the complaints and just do what you want to do next using this lighter shade of pastel green right here it's like a mint green I am just going to apply a bit of that above this um jade green and it's just to kill any harsh lines that i may have because again we want a smooth transition so i'm just applying it up here 
and I'm blending in circles because I'm trying to get rid of any harsh lines that I may have. And I also want to use every color in this palette just to really see how it looks. Alright, I'm filling my skin and the primer has set in. It's not sticky anymore, but I feel like my um, foundation is not going to move once I apply it. So I'm excited to actually see how it looks when I'm done. And I know for dark skin ladies, you may be afraid to use these pastel colors, but what I want to say is don't be afraid. Like actually go in, use it well, and then blend it out properly. Make sure you get rid of any harsh lines and it won't look bad on you. I know with a lot of colors, not everyone is like enthusiastic to try it, but I would say give it a try. This also works really well if you want to do like a cut crease. Um, so that's definitely another idea for this palette. I may do that. All right, next up, going in with this shimmery green right here, I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And I'm using a flat brush. This brush is from BH Cosmetics. All right, so one thing I will say is this green, it doesn't really pick up well. You really have to press to pick up the product, which I don't like, because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of fallout. But it's applying beautifully, and it's not falling out. Oh, okay. Okay, wait, a little fallout, but not too much. And again, you're just applying that all over your lids. All right, next up, I'm going to go in with this lighter green right here. It's kind of, it's green, but it looks like it has a lot of white in it. I'm going to apply that right in the inner corner of my eye by my tear duct. And like I mentioned, you really have to like press down to pick up this product. But once it does get on your brush, it does not leave too much fallout. You can see my face, there's really not that much fallout. And again, we're just applying it right here in the corner. And that's all, we're not taking it in, we're keeping it right here in the corner. gonna go back in with the first brush that I use my Morphe M504 and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna deepen in the corners just to add a bit more dimension make sure you don't get any of that uh, shimmery green just pull this above it we're just trying to add some intensity back out here if you lost any Alright, so I'm gonna go apply the rest of my face and then come back. So you guys, my face is pretty much done. I'm just setting it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some setting powder under my eye because I don't wanna mess up my base. I don't think I'll have too much fallout, but you never know. And I didn't bake, so this is kinda like me baking. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with that dark green first. And I am just going to use a small fluffy brush. So even though you don't get fallout on your face, because the uh, formula is like pretty chalky, it kind of builds up in the pan. That's why you see me blowing it out. But we're gonna start right here. And we're just gonna pull that color in. go in with that um, pale green right here the other matte color excuse my nails y'all I am not one of those creators that can function with long nails 
I just can't. So the most you're probably gonna see is like a manicured nail, but nothing else. So we're just gonna go over that first green, pull that color inwards, just blend it out so we don't have any harsh lines. Overall, I am happy with this palette, just like I was with the Carnival Candy palette. This did what it had to do, okay? If somebody was complaining in their review, don't believe them, okay? The palette is legit. Right. <laughs> for our tear duct, I'm gonna take the same brush that I used for my top lids, and I'm gonna go in with that first green, and I'm really packing that color in there. Okay? Alright, I'm going in with the second shade now. And again, I'm just packing it in my tear duct. You're gonna have a bit of fallout, but that's okay. That's why we put the setting powder there. So I'm not gonna leave this look just like that. I'm going to add some eyeliner to it because I feel like eyeliner is just gonna set it off. So I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D, which is now KD or KVD Vegan. I don't know. It's no longer Kat Von D, but I have this eyeliner and this is what I'm gonna use. All right, so I have my face on. Your girl's glowing. What I'm gonna do next is I am going to move into this lip gloss. I'm so excited to try this. It's chocolate. I love chocolate. I'm going to use a NYX lip pencil in the color Espresso just to line my lips. This is their lip plumping gloss, and again, it's in the color chocolate chip. I can feel whatever it is that makes your lips plump, I guess. It's like a little tingling sensation. It's like peppermint. It smells like chocolate peppermint, and my lips are tingling. It's not an excessive tingle, but I can tell that they put something in here to make your lips plump. Not that I need any more plumpness because I was blessed, but Elf, you did it. You did it, okay? You did it, because I love this. I don't care what anybody else says. I love this, okay? This palette was easy to use. The primer works, okay? My foundation is like holding, honey. It's not shifting. This lip gloss, the color is amazing. It's not a dark chocolate. It's like a chocolate with a bit of orange in it. So it just looks really good on my chocolate skin, okay? Okay, this, I give it like a five, okay, I'll say four out of five. And the only reason I would give it a four out of five is because the two shimmery colors, it's hard to pick up, and then when you press too hard, they kind of crack. Other than that, this was a win. The mint collection, it's 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 a win for me. Um, yes, this is the final look. Honestly, this was an easy look. It looks great. I wish I was going somewhere, but I'm not. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends and their mama's friends to come subscribe, to come watch, to come comment, to come interact. Okay? Interact. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you all in the next video.